Okay, good evening. Uh, two minutes to seven by my watch. Uh, welcome to the webinar this evening. It's Simon here. Welcome back. Uh, a few of you, I can see a few of the names certainly that were on our working lunch uh, a few hours ago. Um, great to see you back and welcome to this evening's webinar with Patrick Manelli. How to become a professional trader with FX Career Swap. Um, Patrick, I think I can see you uh, there, the PM. Uh, there we are. So I will upgrade you to a panelist. And I think we should be able to. Yeah, your microphone is off. So hello, Patrick. How are you? Can you hear me okay? Hi, Simon. How are you doing? Good evening. Ah, great. I'm not too bad. How are you? Very good. Very good. Uh... Just uh, looking forward to a long weekend, even though it's in lockdown. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> at some point we're going to notice the difference. Uh, to be quite honest, I'm just you know, I don't know about the weather where you are, but where I am, it, it, it's fairly gloomy and cold. I have to say. <laughs> are you? Are you, not in are you back in London? No, no, no. I'm in Marbella. Oh wow! It's, I mean, yeah. it's, uh, it's 23 degrees here in New York. Oh, we've got the. We've got the we've got the the windows closed and the heating on in in Marbella, so uh, oh, it, it's right. a massive lockdown mood. And it's not supposed to last for too long, but it, 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 this lockdown's been almost four weeks completely now, and it's been a very iffy weather uh, to match it. I have to say, oh, uh, so the whole thing's too. been it's been very surreal. And and on top of that, we just heard the news that the the Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez is is uh, looking to extend the lockdown. May the tenth. So yeah, I, I guess the thinking is is good. You know, if, if it's working, let's continue it. Well, this is it. I mean, we're lucky here in the islands. Um, the, it, it, I mean, the mm. the infection rate has gone below one now. Um, and yeah. So they within the next week or so, that, um, that we might be able to come off restrictions in the islands because obviously the the lower population and. Um, and the, the movement, etc. So I mean, we we are fortunate. Yes, you might you might just hear this in the background. This is the the neighbours all banging pots and things. This is the nightly eight o'clock. Yeah, the night. Yeah, you, I thought you might hear in the background. Yeah. Here there are sirens where the police do the same on the island. Yeah, yeah, you're getting it as well. So. Anyway, well, we continue. Uh, welcome to everybody else. Sorry, we're having a little uh, private tete-a-tete because -tete, uh, <laughs> both Patrick and I are residing in Spain at the moment, uh, which a lot of you uh, are aware of, uh, just giving you some time to, to get checked in. And yes, I can see a few uh, coming in and uh, we've had a good batch register, so glad to have you with us. Patrick, let's share screens so we can uh, go sure. ahead and I know you gave a little preview at lunchtime of what you would yeah. be talking about, um, but obviously now we've got a, a little bit longer time, and um, we've uh, the people that are here are, are here because they're interested in what uh, what it is you, you've got to offer, and we've we've alluded to that in the discussion. Sorry, it's uh, totally one of my audio feeds. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. That's all right. Yeah, there we are. So um, what we'll do, okay, we will. Yeah, over to you. Thanks very much, Simon. Just... Um, guys, welcome to this evening's session. Um, listen, I know everyone's heading into a holiday weekend, or, although it's, uh, it's, a, it's an unusual holiday weekend. Um, so I won't keep you too long. What I wanted to do this evening was basically just give you an overview of, um, of what we're doing at FX Career Swap and um, and highlight some of the the aspects of the of what we're offering in the program um, and the way I see that it really can help um, emerging trading talent overcome some of the main hurdles to actually get beyond um, the idea of, of of having some sort of profitable system or strategy that works and actually moving forwards to building a career in foreign exchange. Um, so first first off, um, I'm just going to give a brief introduction to myself. Um, my name obviously is Patrick Manley. I'm a, a fund manager, mentor, market commentator, which all sounds fantastic and um, is an overnight success, which has been uh, at least 10 years in the making. Um, 
I, after I graduated, I went into the world of consulting, um, got involved uh, with a, a, a city PLC, worked for them for a period of time, learned the ropes and then left there with a, a, a couple of the guys and, um, and, and did our own, our own startup, um, grew that pretty rapidly over a, over a few years. And then when we merged with a, another operation, I decided to cash in my stake and um, I started to explore my passion for markets. I'd had a, because of the type of work I was doing in the consulting arena, which was um, executive search in the, in the tech industry, I'd had a front row seat really to uh, the dot-com boom and bust. I'd seen people uh, make and lose a fortune in the markets overnight and I'd, with some chips on, on the table and some, and some time on my hands, I decided to, uh, to start what I refer to as meddling or probably more realistically gambling uh, with respect to the market. So I started day trading the S&P 500. Um, this was back in 2004 going into 2005. Uh, the market was predominantly going north. Uh, you know, really a trained monkey could have made money. And I, and I did, and I started to make some, some quite significant gains. Um, when the market started to correct, because I had absolutely no experience, I, um, I started to double down on, on positions and really bets would be the best way of describing them. And um, it ultimately led to uh, me experiencing a six-figure loss. I, um, I got off a plane in, uh, flying from London to Paris. And by the time I, I when I'd left London, uh, the positions I had on were um, just about profitable. And by the time I landed in Paris, I was, uh, I, I'd taken a six-figure hit. And, um, and to say that was a gut-wrenching, mortifying experience is really an understatement it um it was it was a wake-up call certainly for me fortunately at that at that time that you know although it was a, a very heavy loss it wasn't terminal and um what it what it brought about was a, a, a total reconsideration of what i was doing and i decided that if i was going to continue to be involved in the markets that i had to take it really seriously i had to uh, address it as I had done every other commercial endeavor and actually um, apply some some business sense to what I was doing and so I sought out a mentor I did through my ability as a, a headhunter previously I was able to identify uh, a, a number of people who had excellence in the field of trading and I approached them all individually and through a personal contact ultimately got introduced to the guy who um, mentored me for um, for about 18 months, two years, uh, initially very intensively worked with me, not really so much on the technical game, but more on my mental game, and worked with me to identify where I was coming from and my background, my, my mental biases, and how that would impact my ability to be successful as a trader. So worked through those and um, became infinitely more self-aware as, as a person, and certainly as a trader, I, I consider trading to be a really holistic um, experience. You know, if, if, you, if there's any part of your life that's out of kilter, that's going to be reflected in your P&L. Um, so worked with him, developed mental game first, technical game second, then a trade plan, business plan, uh, an extensive back test, which, is, which was really a labor of love, um, and a forward test. And then I returned to the markets in 2008. And, um, and obviously walked into or, or started trading into a, uh, an incredibly difficult period. And um, that January, I remember it as, as if it was yesterday, um, took, took quite a heavy loss. But this, this time, as opposed to the last time when I took, uh, when I took a, a loss, I'd actually, because I'd done the work, I got the back test, I, I had my, my trade plan with underpinning everything I did. Um, I had proper risk management in place. So the losses I experienced during that first month, they weren't mind shattering or earth shattering. They simply were, as I understood it then, an acceptable um, deviation around a mean. And I knew that if I continued to apply my plan and strategy, that the edge that I'd, I'd identified would, would demonstrate itself. And ultimately I went on that year and had a, a very successful year um, and since 2008, I've, um, I've been profitable on an annual basis. And, you know, this is really important. I, I, you know, I know people are, 
um, really focused upon, you know, what, what, what's the performance, what, 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 are, what are the returns. Um, for me, I, I, I've moved away from that. And really, my focus is purely upon my process. Am I executing a trade versus my predefined plan? And if I'm doing that consistently, not over the next one or two trades, not over the next 10 trades, but over the next 100 trades, I can expect a positive return. And so you'll see some of these figures on, on, on the screen at the moment. The ones I draw your attention to are, um, are, are the average losing month. On an average on a losing month, I'll lose 2.49%. But my, um, sorry, my average losing month here, my average winning month is 8.1%. So I'm nearly hitting a three to one um, profit factor in terms of what I lose on the downside, but what I gain on the upside. And again, that comes from solely focusing on my process, not, not thinking about cash or thinking about returns, but focusing on executing versus my, versus my trading plan. But and as is incredibly important for people to realize, and this is something that I don't think many do, that you know I can go through periods of, of drawdown, and that is a natural occurrence within an extended series of outcomes. So if my if my if my sole focus was just on the next trade or, or what's going to happen in the next five trades, then I could easily become distracted by a, a period of, of drawdown or a period of loss. And then I, if, if I if I wasn't anchored by my trade plan and um, my trading experience, then I could easily start thinking, well, maybe I need to look at another strategy or I need to look at another you know, signal provider or whatever. But because of my experience, I trade through those periods. I stick to the plan. I know that my my trading strategy, whilst I've equipped myself to be able to trade in a lot of market conditions, I can't capture upside in all market conditions. So I'm going to experience drawdowns. And I accept that because in trading, and this is an incredibly important concept to grasp, loss precedes gain. And the only way loss doesn't proceed gain is if you're over leveraged or over committed from a risk perspective so that the loss becomes terminal so never ever let the loss become terminal and as long as you've got a proven strategy ultimately you'll come out on top so those are you know these are the annual returns since 2013 the reason why it's 2013 not 2008 is that 2013 was the year that i took on external capital started with friends and family and it's then moved on to um, other investors, external capital that I'm managing, and this is in the public domain, so I'm, I'm happy to, to, to share this information. And in your own time, you can review the um, return statistics, but these are the ones I'm most focused on, are the risk statistics. The difference between a professional trader and a less experienced trader is the inexperienced trader is only thinking about the upside, whereas the experienced trader is laser focused on managing the downside. Um, the reason why I post this picture over here, this is my this is where I'm talking to you from now. This is my, my trading terminal out in um, Cecilinas in uh, Mallorca. And I'm not, I don't post this as, um, as you know, this isn't the equivalent of a gold Lamborghini that you'll see on Instagram with some of these guys or stacks of cash. Um, but what I really have gained from trading um, that's most important to me anyway, I mean, outside of the financial return, is I have a, a pretty high degree of liberty. I work from a place that I've chosen to work from. I, I don't answer to anyone. Um, and I've, I've been able to gain a, a high degree of, of what I refer to as life liberty. And, and there is no price you can put on that. Every day I walk into this place, I'm, there's a smile on my face and I'm ready to go. And, um, and you know, I consider it, a, I'm extremely grateful for, for what this, this career has given me. And notice that. We didn't call this business FX lottery ticket. It's FX career swap. And like I said from the get-go, this all looks great here, fund manager, market mentor, commentator, but I'm an overnight success 10 years in the making. And there were blood, sweat and tears that went into getting to where I am now. And so if any of you are here tonight thinking, you know, I can get involved with, with Forex or, or trading, and um, within the next three months, I'll be, uh, you know, I'll be out on the beach somewhere. Forget it. It's this is a long haul business, and um, you know, you don't, 
you don't become a lawyer, a doctor, or a surgeon, you know, in three months. It, you've got to you've got to be realistic about what it means if you decide to go down the path of trying to make a career in the business of trading. And um, and I stress that to everyone I work with. And um, if if you don't start out with a realistic expectation, you're always going to be disappointed. Okay, so please, you know, like I say, this all looks great, but it, this did not happen overnight by no means. So anyway, if you are still interested in exploring um, the business, then um, I work with a, a, a company who are um, about facilitating emerging trading talent. And what we're doing is we're looking to provide a platform to overcome the hurdles that most retail traders face. And to my mind, they get the, 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 there, are, there are a few of them. One is education. And not, I don't mean education as in terms of, you know, certificates, et cetera. What I mean is in terms of trading education is some really sound concepts that are, are above and beyond just theoretical. So there are a vast amount of trading books out there, trading videos, et cetera. But you can spend your whole time getting submerged in that stuff. And eventually you end up in a state of almost paralysis by analysis. You have so many technical ideas on board that you're incapable of actually making a trading decision. So what we do at FX Career Swap is we give you concepts, some basic concepts that one, allow you to understand the playing field in terms of the market, and then two, give you practical application of the knowledge to actually extract consistent profits from the market. So once we've worked with you on that element, we then move on to um, community, which is an incredibly important aspect because a lot of guys out there are, are, are trying to get involved in trading and trying to um, see if they can crack the markets and doing it on your own is incredibly difficult. You know, there, there's a reason why these investment banks are running trading desks and trading teams. And those trading teams are generally quite tight. And the reason why is because they're, a, they're an immediate support network for individual traders. So we're looking at concepts, education, community in terms of a support network. And then what we're looking at is the main hurdle to, to trading success for a retail trader, and that's capitalization. Because no matter how great you are as a trader and how great you are as a risk manager, if you're trading, a, you know, a few hundred pounds or a thousand pound accounts, you know, these figures here, even my performance, look, I mean, if, you know, in my best year, if you made 134% on a hundred pound account or a thousand pound account, that means you've got 2,134 pounds, you know, you're not going to be able to pay the bills on that stuff. So this is where a lot of retail trading talent comes and stuck because they're not adequately capitalized to mean that they can adhere to proper risk management and then that risk management and adherence to their trade plan actually deliver financial returns that can be meaningful so there we go capitalization is the um is the last uh, element that we deliver so let's just quickly i'm going to run through now and break this down for you so this is what we have on offer at um, FX Career Swap. We have the Trade Pro, and we have some advanced strategies and some proprietary indicators. Don't get me wrong; these indicators, they're not the, you know, this isn't the holy grail of trading. They just, uh, they're indicators I've developed um, over time that just make things easier for me in terms of trading. But if, it, and it, this is also an incredibly important aspect, the holy grail in trading is actually you. So I could, you know, you can run some of the most simplest strategies on the planet. And as long as you have the proper mental wherewithal to trade those strategies, you can be successful. So there is no indicator on the planet that is the, the, the holy grail of trading. But I have got some indicators that in line with some trading plans work very effectively. So again, please don't think that when we say, you know, advanced strategies indicators, we're promising you, uh, again, going back to that idea of this isn't a lottery ticket, this is a career builder, okay? We have 21 um, bespoke interactive learning modules. We then have 10 um, trade strategies. These are strategies that I've traded over the past 15 years that individually 
are profitable, I use a combination to help me navigate different market phases. We have weekly webinars, we have three webinars a week uh, where I run through market strategy, trading strategy, and then an open Q&A forum. Um, and ultimately, what we're it's all underpinned by this idea of capitalization. Obviously, with the community with respect to the, um, the training floor, and we'll look at that in a minute. But first, really, let's just look at the education. We have 21 modules. You have uh, documented education. You have uh, webinars that are uh, basically walk through the, uh, the documentation so you have a better understanding. And then, like I say, we host these uh, three webinars a week um, in the evenings to, to cover off any questions you might have on any of this content. And then we have the 10 strategies outlined here, um, which essentially, like I say, are independently profitable if consistently applied. But as you once you've gained understanding of each individual strategy, what you'll come to learn is that um, the combination of strategies is extremely powerful and um, lends itself to, to essentially helping you navigate most market phases, not all. And again, this is another um, important concept in trading. Anyone who talks to you about markets in terms of in definitive terms, i.e., I know what's going to happen next, or this trade's going to be a winner, or um, this is how the markets work. You need to run a mile from people who talk like that. The nature of markets is ambiguity. They wouldn't exist otherwise. If everybody knew what was going to happen next, it, the market couldn't function. The market's designed to extract as much money as po possible from as many people as possible. And so what you're always looking for is simply edge. You want a defined edge that is highly probable, but it doesn't mean that it's going to occur every time you, you enter or you engage the market. So this is something we, we deliver. We have the 10 strategies. You get a detailed trade plan giving you the exact method for entering, ex oh, sorry, the exact method for identifying, entering, managing, and exiting trades. You get video support and, and um, like I say, uh, interactive webinars. And then I share, obviously, through the, um, through the program, my trades um, in real time with the guys um, in the trading floor. We have a, a, a team chat that, um, that I engage in with every day. I'm generally on there from the London Open, um, then into the New York Open, and I, I, I revisit it at the, um, at the New York close. Uh, I also share trades or, or trading uh, ideas through TradingView and our um, RFX Career Swap uh, TradingView that you can follow along. I share I, what I try to do there is I share the setups. I can't always um, follow up with management, etc., but I certainly identify the, the, the setups. And the setups are all based of, uh, upon the, the strategies that, that I teach. So these are they're all a combination of or individual examples of the of the strategies. Um, going into uh, just highlighting how that works, um, these are some of the recent trades that, um, that I've shared with the guys in the room. Um, signals that have been identified in advance, I post charts into the chat, I then walk them through how I'm managing the trades. And again, we're not. this isn't a signal service as such. Uh, well, well, sorry, it isn't a signal service at all. What I try to do is I share my, my trade so that people can um, witness how a professional trader and you know executes these trades and manages trades. So um, you know this isn't done as to be a signal service, but it's simply done to to demonstrate how to professionally um, manage a trading book. And so these are signals that come from the strategies that I highlight to the guys in advance. I give them the parameters for the trades I'm going to take, identify my um, my take profit areas, how I'm going to manage the trades, and obviously these are some of the recent results. So um, this is just last month. You can see in March, um, two trades here in the Singapore dollar that um, the netted 400 pips. Now, again, that looks great, but if you go back to my results, you see I have losing months, okay? So those losing months don't come from anywhere. Here was the next trade I got in the Singapore dollar that looked great. Met all my criteria, so I don't, I, you know, I don't hesitate. As soon as I get a signal, matches my criteria, I enter the trade. In this instance, I got stopped out. I share that with the team. I, there's no hiding the losses. I'm, I, 
you know, I'm, I'm extremely open. But here's the important thing: that because of my experience, um, and because that I'm, I know that the the trading plan that I I, I execute consistently will ultimately deliver positive returns over an extended series of outcomes. This is a mantra that I teach to the guys. Losses don't deflate me. I don't get down about a, a losing trade. Equally, winners don't elate me. I don't, get, I don't get overconfident if I experience a winning trade. Again, think about it from a perception perspective. I'm focused on the next 100 trades, not the next one, not the next 10, not the next 20, the next 100. So once you adopt that mindset, it, it really takes away the pain or, or the perceived pain of experiencing a negative outcome from a trade. And this is a very important concept, one that you know I, I teach consistently um, to the guys in the room. Here was a setup that we had in the S&P 500. Uh, I was not buying every down tick in the S&P, and the, you know, the guys will attest to this. I had one signal I was waiting for, I got it, we had some additional supporting information, which comes from the idea, as I mentioned earlier, context. And I provide context through um, institutional updates I get from contacts on various trading desks. But this was a, uh, an update I had and um, identified a setup. It met the criteria versus one of the strategy. It also met some additional criteria with, this, with respect to um, fund flow and insider buying in the markets. And again, had fortunate to, to, to experience a positive outcome there. And, um, and that's basically um, March is 9.32%. But don't get me wrong, listen, January, I was flat, February, really flat, to be honest, although a minor uptick. But again, I'm totally transparent about the trading, the outcomes, um, but March has been good. And I, uh, listen, it's not, uh, it's not ideal to be um, telling people you've been profitable in, in a month where, you know, aside from the financial misery, there's been a hell of a lot of human misery, and you know, I'm a, that it's it's tragic and something that it, it's very difficult. But my job ultimately is to trade financial markets, so you know that's um, that's where I that's how I mentally um, process that and deal and deal with it and move on to to actually manage my trading business. Um, this is the trading floor. It's a it's a team chat. There are we've now got 80 full time traders in there who are at various levels of the learning curve. Um, it's an extremely supportive group, great, like-minded individuals, all aligned behind this, this goal, really, to become consistently profitable professional traders. We should share, uh, share charts, setups. Uh, I share a lot of institutional information in terms of context, and we'll move on to that now um, on a daily basis. We, I get um, flow information from JP Morgan, UBS, etc., Morgan Stanley, and I share that in the room. And this is really um, an informational disadvantage that many retail traders are at: is that they they feel they they fail to see the context of what the big players in the markets are doing, what the guys who are moving around hundreds, if not billions, of dollars a day, where they're how they're looking at the market. And this gives this really is is quite enlightening because. Everyone, everyone thinks that the guy, you know, the guy who's running the euro desk at JP Morgan knows all there is to know about the euro. And there are often times in these comments where he'll say, I simply don't understand what happened yesterday. And, and it's that once you understand that every, every participant is, it, you know, don't, even these guys who are seeing JP Morgan undoubtedly see most of the, of the global foreign exchange flow. So if the guy who's running the euro dollar desk at JP Morgan doesn't understand a move that may have occurred during specifically during this period, then you're not expected to. And once you realize that, it gives you a level of, um, of balance in terms of how you approach the markets. Now, certainly these notes during this, this period have been really helpful to the, the trading team. They've identified illiquidity in the markets and dislocation, and that's been very helpful. But without having that access, the, the moves that we've seen, the erratic nature of some of the recent market action can be a bit disturbing and get, can make you reconsider whether or not you know you, you can actually trade these markets. And the reality is, as I've just shown you through this last month, adhering to the strategies that, that I use and I, I, I adhere to, it's been a, an extremely prof profitable month. Um, this is some of the other information that I share, various institutional um, trading desk comments, research and notes. 
but really help give context to the market action and let the guys know where the big players are looking. Because like I say, ultimately what we're trying to do as, as smaller retail traders is to try and ride the, um, the coattails of these bigger players in the market and just take a chunk, take chunks out of the market. So finally, it comes to the, um, the idea of capitalization. This is what we offer. We, um, we give you uh, a, a, a $50,000 funded account at zero personal risk. You have to, first of all, um, trade an evaluation account that's slightly smaller. And the criteria is that we are looking for you to achieve a 6% gain without experiencing a max 4% drawdown. And obviously, there are some lot sizes um, assigned to that. But ultimately, once you achieve that level, we will then um, double your account every 10%. And that will take you, can take you up to a maximum of a $2 million trading account. You trade with no personal risk. You can extract profits monthly. You can trade in a professional fashion, apply strict risk management rules, and just grow your account over time. And ultimately, what it is, you trade with freedom. And that freedom is the type of freedom that leads to sitting at a desk like this on a Monday morning, as opposed to in a cubicle um, in, in Serta. So that's what we're offering. This is some of the feedback we've had over the past nearly 12 months now. We've, um, we've, we've been involved in this project. And you can see that you know, there's, a, there's a strong group support mentality and, um, and that guys are genuinely developing skill here and moving on to, to become profitable. And this is ultimately what, what we're in this, in this for, is to actually elevate retail trading talent to become professional trading talent. A few more comments here from, from some of the guys. So that's what, so that's what we're offering at FX Career Swap. And um, this is the, the, the Trade Pro program, advanced strategies, indicators, all the, um, all the uh, additional constituents of, of the program that we've, I've just discussed with you. And, um, and we have a promotional offer. The, 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 the ticket price is, uh, is $399, but we're doing a, uh, an offer tonight for any of you guys who are interested in, in exploring this, this opportunity. And um, there's a link here to, to register your interest. And um, there's an additional uh, discount for those who, who make an upfront commitment and then, uh, then move on to, to join the program. But what I would say to you, last of all, is that, you know, focus on this bit more than anything else. FX career swap. This is not FX lottery ticket. And anyone um, who, who, has, who has been involved in, in other courses or other learning environments, um, this, I, from the get-go, I want you to really appreciate that this is not going to happen overnight. I didn't get to where I am um, just by, by doing a couple of months of training. It took me two, 18 months to two years to, to really master the skills I needed to become successful. And then it's taken me a further 10 years to grow my, my performance and my track record. So I really just, anyone, anyone who's thinking about joining us, if you're if you're in a state of desperation and you need to make some money next month or the month after or you need to make rent or mortgage this isn't for you you know this is a this is a serious business opportunity and don't get me wrong it, it might not become your your first career it might be you're looking for a, a a sustainable supplemental income you know through this environment we've just been through where people are being furloughed people being put up, put off work you know you might want to have a safety net that's that is consistent and reliable and this is what trading can be for you if it isn't, if, you know, if you're not looking for it to become, become your career choice. Um, Simon, that really wraps up. I, I, want, I want to keep it short tonight because I know it's, you know, we're heading into a holiday weekend. I don't want uh, people sitting around. Well, that's listening. right, yeah. Um, but I, I just, I think that's covered all the bases. If there are any immediate questions, I'm happy to, um, to field those now. I've got, a, got some time here. Well, you know, just one one from David, first of all, just saying, hi, Patrick, how many recruits have completed the training and funded we have, and been we have funded 80, with the Sure. We have 80 on the program now. I'm the, the actual number of people who are now trading the funded accounts, um, I would say um, on the basis that everyone started from different levels. There are people who are complete novices. And when I 
my, when, when these guys join who are complete novices, I say, look, realistically, it's going to be about 30 weeks for you to um, process the information, learn the strategies, and then get into the state where you can actually develop the back test. So I say to someone who's joining, who has no experience in the markets, you need to think to yourself, it's nine to 12 months before you're going to be moving on to, to the to the funded account. Okay, and, and just the second part of that same question, it, it, the people that have completed the, the training, are they individually funded or is it shared capital? It's, they're individually funded. Okay. You get your own your, your own account, your own account number, your own um, access to, a, a, to, to the platform, and you're individually funded. Fantastic. Okay, well, if anybody else has any uh, questions, just let us know. Um, otherwise, uh, we will record this and I'll, I'll put this presentation on the website. So if anybody is, uh, I can see that not everybody is here that, that registered for this event. So um, we've had about another 30, 40 people that, that registered that haven't attended. So the recording will be there for them. Oh, sorry, one, two more questions. So how many people are on funded accounts? This is from Ezzy. Uh, um, I, 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 I would think between 20 and 25 out of the 80 that are. Um, are you all you've got to bear in mind is obviously we started this project um, last June. The the Trade Pro program started last October. So there are some there are some people who've come to us who have more experience. And so they've been able to complete the course and the strategies in a quicker time. It depends. It's really dependent upon your your level of experience. What I would say, the benchmark I would say is that if you have little to no experience, you you can you would have to think to yourself, it's going to be nine to twelve months to go through the program before you move on to the funded account. Got it. And that's just um, what just about the platform? Edward's asking, what sort of platform you you favour? Um, the, the platform that the funded account is through MT4. All the indicators and the strategies work through TradingView. Okay, and just uh, another question from David. Ongoing costs beyond the the, the first none. upfront costs that you none. mentioned? No, there are, there are none. Okay, fantastic. Great. Um, okay, Patrick, thank you very much uh, indeed. I think that just about wraps us up um, for this evening. Any other questions? Obviously, people can just email myself or email you. Your your details are there. Um, the, the the FX Careers what training dot com forward slash register. And feel free. You know, you can you can also reach out to me on LinkedIn if you want. On LinkedIn, of course, and of course through myself. Uh, happy to to pass you over to, to Patrick. Well, great. Well, I'm very jealous of your office. I think you've, you've got a nicer view than I do. Uh, so it looks fantastic. Um, Patrick, have a good Easter weekend, and everybody else here, uh, happy Easter to you all. Hope you have a nice uh, time, whatever you are in the world. And um, we will come back next week with some more events. Thank you, Patrick. And you too, Take care, and all the best to your family. Thank you, and you. Bye bye for now.